Time now is 645. We're taking a look outside over St. Teresa on our weather stem loop over the past few hours. We've had some passing rain down along the coast. Pretty much the entire coverage area, at least in North Florida, has seen at least a quick shower or two with periods of sunshine. Southern Georgia a little bit on the drier end, but that moisture will begin to spread northward as you head through Sunday into next week. So in turn, where the areas have been seeing sunshine and no rain, 87 in Mariana, 85 in Bainbridge, a little bit warmer with some of those spots hitting the lower 90s. We hit 90 here in Tallahassee. We also saw rain and right now only at 79 degrees those rain cooled spots especially further southeast where they've been seeing all that rain 76 down towards Perry so your Titan radar showing a mostly dry look I-10 and northward not much to worry about there south of I-10s where all that moisture has been as a stationary front has kind of straddled across the coverage area and with that southwest flow at the surface that has just been pushing moisture on shore you see all those green kind of outlined counties. Those are all different types of flood watches, flood warnings. You got areas through Suwannee, Lafayette, and down towards Dixie and Taylor counties under a flood watch. And then this little flash flood warning that is in parts of Southern Taylor in Northwest Dixie County. So that area over towards Steinhatchee, uh, National Weather Service said they've seen 22 inches of rain since Thursday, more than 10 inches today. That's a mess. If you are driving down in that area, take it slow, avoid flooded Roadway. So if you zoom out, you can really see where that front is across the southeast, kind of right through the northern Gulf, cutting up through the Big Bend, and then towards parts of the Atlantic coast. And you see South Carolina there, a little bit of a swirl starting to develop. And the National Hurricane Center has taken note of that. 10% chance to develop here in the next 48 hours. Good news, this will not be an issue, just a little spin up along that stationary front. As this system kind of lifts up this area where the swirl is, the little low pressure forming, that's gonna ride up off the coast. Not gonna be an issue for anybody here. For us, we are looking at rain in the forecast for the next few days. Tomorrow, it'll start to kind of expand northward as we see more shower storms for areas in southern Georgia, lower Alabama, and for all of us folks along I-10 here. It's not just going to be down to the coast. So we got rain chance pretty high. Overnight, just an isolated shower or storm possible throughout your Sunday. Scattered showers, thunderstorms all day long. So keep that in mind. Probably not going to be the best weather to head out on the boat here. We are looking at seas five to seven feet overnight and then for tomorrow two to four feet with winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Overnight dropping out in the lower 70s with some isolated to scattered showers and for tomorrow we're going to keep highs back in the upper 80s, lower 90s a little bit further north but again shower storm is going to continue to spread northward so everyone at least looking at the chance for some rain on Sunday. Temperature is going to be pretty consistent slowly warming up into next week and by next week around Tuesday Wednesday start to settle back into a typical summer like pattern with those temperatures back around normal. Highs will be in the low to mid 90s with heat index values near 100. Overnight lows will be in the mid 70s and every single day we'll be looking at the chance for some afternoon scattered showers and storms.